First-person shooting games like these are just one of the ways the Singapore Armed Forces is using to engage youths, and it seems to have gotten these boys interested in the army. When I play the game, the third generation SAF is, to me, is cool. Especially the the weaponry used, uh, like the Sa 21, the saw and the GPMG, are uh, useful weapons for war. I am thinking of getting a job in the army, so. I'm trying to familiarize myself, lah, especially with the SAR. We see army as um as a very strong, as a very strong two years experience. But through this through this game, uh, through this fun, we actually learn that um in we as we uh, go in groups together, we can actually explore this kind of strategies together and think, cooperate, and put in work together. Yeah, teamwork is the keyword. Speaking at the opening of the inaugural National Education Gaming Championship Finals, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Defence Teo Chee Hien said MIDEF is exploring innovative ways to reach out to young Singaporeans. New media platforms allow MIDEF to engage the public directly through our cyber pioneer connections to YouTube, Facebook, Flickr and Twitter. Singaporean youths in particular have been very receptive to our new approaches and media platforms. The National Education Gaming Championship is MINDEF's first foray into the area of gaming. It's just a great way for young Singaporeans to find out more about the third generation SAF and its capabilities and hopefully adjust better to military life when they eventually enlist for national service or when they come in as regular soldiers. The game used in the National Education Gaming Championship is called Virtual Battle Space 2, a first-person shooting game used to train soldiers in the SAF. It is set against the backdrop of the Murai Urban Training Facility in Lim Chu Kang and features weapons and systems currently used by SAF soldiers. Participants get to experience what it's like to operate a rifle, an unmanned aerial vehicle and a battlefield robot in the game. Each team consists of 19 members to form a platoon, and they are split into two seven-man infantry sections and a headquarters. Each team member plays the role of a platoon commander, combat medic or gunner. The goal is to defend or attack two buildings. To win, they either eliminate the opponent's team, capture or defend both buildings within a time limit. When they play commercial games, they just run and shoot. Uh, fastest finger win, you know, that kind of thing. They just... Whoever brave or fast, you win. This one, no, you die faster and you anyhow run. So they learn all this about uh, things about communication, about teamwork and about role playing when they play this game. And this is actually what training is all about. You have to know your role, play your role. More than 1,200 students from 38 schools took part in the competition, which is open to students from secondary schools, ITEs, junior colleges and polytechnics. The top 32 teams will compete for the championship title in the finals from November 24th to 27th. The National Education Gaming Championship is the first formal inter-school gaming competition organised by the Ministry of Defence and Ministry of Education to educate youths about the third-generation Singapore Armed Forces and National Service.